We now return to Rational Geographic. Upon realizing a trip to Africa would be smelly and gross, our crew decided to stay in the office. Okay, all right, everybody just calm down. It might just be Grandpa Munster. Somebody set him up for a funny joke. Hey, Grandpa, how did you sleep last night? Yeah, see, if it was him, he would have said, like I do every night, upside down. <laughs> okay, but, Peter, we can't have a bat flying around the house. We gotta do something. Don't worry, Lois, I'll get rid of it. It'll be a piece of cake, just like my penis enhancement. I want it to hang down to my knees. They moved up my knees. Everybody, I've come up with the perfect plan to catch the bat. I bought this remote-controlled toy helicopter to which I have attached this handgun. And I tell you, this thing is not easy to fly. Peter, that doesn't seem very... Here goes. Now, I don't have anything to control the trigger with, so I put it on a timer. But I don't remember how long I set it. Ah, we're all gonna die! Okay, so now the bat has a gun and the knives I gave him. What? Why would you give him knives? I didn't think it would matter. I was counting on this helicopter thing working. Peter? Wh where are you? What's going on? In order to understand the bat, we must first understand the vampire. So I watched Interview with the Vampire. Cast your gaze upon Lestat. Peter, you're not a vampire. Oh? Then why am I clad in velvet pants tucked into soft leather boots? And why does my shirt billow so in the wind of that rotating fan? Peter, what's really going on? I'm just trying to reinvent my look. A guy at work said I dress like crap. Well, you show him tomorrow, Peter. How'd it go? I was sent home early and labeled a distraction. They're having a meeting about me tomorrow. What's wrong? Are we taking a terrible 7 a.m. flight? No, no. I realize to catch a bat, I need to live like a bat. So I gotta be up at night. It's a nocturnal mission, Lois. Okay, but what are you gonna do? Well, as everyone knows, bats watch a ton of Cinemax softcore porn, so that seems like the place to start. <laughs> Aha! Welcome back to CNBC's Moneyline. Oh, come on, man. Nobody's buying that. You expect me to believe you own stocks? Bat Industries was up $2 a share today in heavy trading. Huh. Get back here! Damn it! God! You now, Bat Damon. I named you Bat Damon. Aw, oh, now I want you to live. <laughs> ah, ah, what is it? Ah! Oh. You can beat me, but I am who I am. Peter, what the hell did you do to Stewie's hand? It could be broken. I didn't mean to. It's just sometimes I don't think before I act. Oh, hey, high five. Hey, did you just high five that sign? Yeah. You think differently. Get in. His name was Derek, but he went by the prophet when times were good, or the lawgiver when times were bad. I moved on to his prayer farm with 45 other members of the Salvation Star Boys who died in a mass suicide. But not me, because I don't like root beer, and I only drink what I like. After it was all over, I called Lois to pick me up. She was mad. But she's what Derek calls an oppressing doubter. May the light of Derek's invincible diamond shine through you. Oh, thank you so much for coming in early, Dr. Hartman. Oh, no problem. Hell, I used to work here. What? Good news. Stewie's hand looks fine. Oh, hey, high five. Huh. As long as you're here, I see Stewie hasn't had his vaccinations yet. Should we take care of that? Well, I suppose so. Oh, but first, I'm required to have you read this pamphlet about the risks of vaccinations. God, you are aging so rapidly. Possible side effects. Fever, severe allergic reaction, muscle and joint pain. Wait, he's in the shot? 
Hey, man, how many questions your lady ask? Uh, like a million? Well, I don't remember having to read any of this when Chris and Meg had their vaccinations. Well, that was before Internet chat rooms made everybody an expert. It's a better world now. I don't know about this, Dr. Hartman. We might need a little bit of time to think this over. Yeah, because we don't want to make a big mistake. Like when I peed next to the chatty guy. Hey, man, we should get out of here. The building's on fire. Hey, pal, not now. I'm busy. Anyway, I'll tell you what's on fire. My urethra. That's the last time I go to a water park, I'll tell you that much. Well, that's not completely true, because I have a group on and I'd hate to waste it. Plus, the truth is, the kid... Oh, my God. I was... The chatty guy. Hey, you guys, is that my laptop? Yeah, sorry. We were looking something up. We were gonna get Stewie vaccinated, but now, after our research, we're definitely not. Oh, no, Lois, don't tell me you fell for all that anti-vaxxer crap. It's not crap, Brian. There's a lot of evidence to suggest there's a link between vaccinations and autism. Lois, all that so-called evidence has been debunked. Listen to some of these ingredients. Mercury, thimerosal, aluminum, formaldehyde. Lois, deciding not to vaccinate Stewie is something that affects all of us. The only reason they work is that if a critical mass of society gets immunized, then the diseases won't spread. Look, Brian, I was skeptical too, but then I did some research, and I found some very interesting things from the leader of the anti-vaccination movement, Jenny McCarthy. See? Proof. Hard to argue with that. And look at this one. Glasses. Case closed. I can't believe you guys. Don't you realize you're contributing to a potential public health disaster by not vaccinating your child? That's exactly the point. My child. He's my child, and nothing matters more than his well-being. Oh, God, this is going to be a Lewis story, isn't it? Game of Thrones is on, just a reminder. Yeah, we made this mistake before. We got the other kids vaccinated, but Meg still got chicken pox. Dad, this is acne. Girl, you nasty. You realize the vast majority of people think you're wrong. Well, maybe that's the problem. We just gotta change their minds. We're getting this town to change its mind about vaccinations. Yeah, I'm with you. Just as soon as I finish getting the word out about the one thing more important. The brothers who made the Matrix are ladies now. They're ladies! Just one of them? That's the thing! It's both of them! What are the chances? What are the chances? The brothers who made the Matrix are ladies now. <laughs> All right, come on, Peter. I've got all the stuff for our anti-vaccination rally. I don't believe this. It's bad enough you guys aren't vaccinating Stewie. Now you're trying to convince other people to make the same reckless choice? I'm also going to pet a bunch of dogs without asking. Don't do that. We don't like that. And I'm going to try and look at their teeth. Brian, all we want is for parents to have the choice, because parents know what's best for their kids. I hear Sansa finally shows boob in this one. You do realize they're putting your life in danger by not getting you immunized. You could get measles, mumps, rubella, whooping cough. Oh my god, are you serious? Very serious. Even the tiniest germ could make you very ill and left untreated kill you. Really? I'd expect this kind of thing from the fat man, but not Lewis. Although she did act like a nutcase that time she went shopping right before Thanksgiving. Ready for turkey day? Ha <laughs> clever. Don't eat too much turkey tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I won't. Now, if only the meal would cook itself, huh? <laughs> Parents of Quahog and weekend dads playing three minutes of catch. Do you know that the number of childhood vaccines has tripled in the last generation? And why is that? Because heartless corporations make billions of dollars by foisting garbage and poison upon our children. We demand that these vaccines be tested by independent researchers, not by the companies who make them. Excuse me, are you the lady selling the bullhorn? What? No. I'm over here! Ugh, 
Damn it. This doesn't seem to be working. Well, obviously, Lois. You can't just go to a park and list a bunch of boring facts. You gotta spice things up, like I did when I was a lounge singer with uneven lyric density. This is a song I wrote for my beautiful girlfriend. Her name is Kim. I don't understand why your father has such problems with us, Kim. Mostly I think it's because I don't make my car payments on time, but also because I was dating someone else at the same time as Kim. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Kim, I love you, but mostly I love that you let me eat crackers in the bed. <laughs>